the sunshine and the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away Hello everybody, uh, welcome to or back to the channel. Uh, this is a reading vlog, a weekly reading vlog. It's, it's a week, hopefully we're gonna read, we are gonna vlog it. Hey. Okay, so um, it's been, oh god, what's happening here? It's been, it's been a, it's been a rough couple days. Okay, uh, so that's why the last vlog was a little shorter than I had originally intended. That's fine. Uh, what we are gonna do though in this vlog is I'm going to have a clip where I show you that I organized that because I filmed me organizing that, which this, hello, hi, right here. This bookshelf is from the sponsor of today's video, which is ODK Furniture, and we'll get into them in just a second, but this will be included relatively soon. And then also we're gonna be reading a Deadly Inside Scoop, which is a cozy mystery. It's getting a little stormy outside, so it's kind of the perfect time. We also went to World Market and Michael's today as a decompression coping thing, and it was fantastic. We got fall stuff, and I'm gonna show you it. My favorite thing is we got this, and I'll show you clips of that. But it's just a, it's like a bundle of pre-made up things from Michael's, and then this really cute vase that they have and I just like it a lot. And yeah, we got some stuff for the bedroom, we got some stuff for the living room, we got some stuff that we hung outside, little ghosts are hanging from the front porch. It's very cute. Love it a lot. But other than that, I'm gonna just go ahead and get reading. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee and we have some new mugs that we bought from World Market because they're having this big sale on mugs. And I finally got the mushroom mug that I've been wanting and seeing all over TikTok and Instagram and everything like that. So. You're gonna see that in a second. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to intro because I was like, I'm making a pour over decaf coffee. Might as well show the people my face to do an intro and we'll get into a true intro tomorrow. But for now, let's go make coffee. I'm a liar. First, here's this. So it's this kind of wood look, but it's not wood. And then these are just, we got four or no, three of the same bundles to fill it out. And I think it's really cute right there on the record player. And then these mushrooms are from World Market. My partner wanted this eucalyptus tree, so that's next to there. We need to get either a decorative pot or maybe like a wicker basket for it. I don't really know yet, but I think this is cute. I love this and it can be switched out for the seasons, which I like a lot. And like I said, the bookshelves, I'm just giving you a, a tour apparently. And then we also got this from World Market, which I really like. Oh, and this guy, of course. Because how cute is that? And those, I have batteries coming in the middle tomorrow for that. But now, let's get to reading. So thank you to ODK for sponsoring today's video. And they are the reason I have this beautiful bookshelf behind me. I love organizing new bookshelves, especially this style is just... Look at her. Look at her. I love it. I'm getting another one for that side so that it will match on each side of the dresser. I'm very excited to just expand my bookshelf world. However, let's talk about ODK. So they are an online shop. I will link down below in the description along with code Olivia30 to get 30% off of your purchase. They have bookshelves like you see back here. They have other bookshelves that I have had. I have the tree shelf in my living room that I got from them last year and you guys saw me build that organ 
organize that in an old blog. They also have desks, they have other tables, side tables, furniture like that. Pretty much anything that you could want in like a home office, they're kind of a go-to spot for that. I am not a person that likes to build furniture. I don't like to put things together. I don't like to read the instructions <laughs> because usually it's like a small book and I, I don't want to read a small book of instructions. However, this furniture was literally the easiest thing for me to set up. I didn't need any help other than screwing it under the wall because I am short. But aside from that, it was such an easy to put together shelf. I'm already excited for the next one to get in so that I can just put it together and slap that baby up on that wall and then have a beautiful little wooden setup. I also love the color of this one and I like the openness on the sides. I just think it's like the perfect bookshelf to put in a space where maybe you don't have the most space in the world, but you know, you just want a little something. I also think it's like very decorative in itself because it doesn't look like every other bookshelf. Y'all know I've got those Billy bookcases in my office and I love them, but I think that this is just such a unique cool design. I really, really like. So like I said, use Olivia 30 on the screen. It's down below. The links are down below as always to get 30% off of your order. And thank you once again to them for sponsoring today's video. Feels like things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken let my mind be carried by the waves Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the dark Um, did you know that a Starbucks cup is like a really good tripod? Cause it is. Okay, hi, hey, hello. It is Tuesday, which means it's new release day. So let's talk about it. I got two books that did come out today and then I got one that came out. <gasps> oh my God, the end papers are honeycomb. Shut up. Anyways, um, we'll start with the first one. I grabbed this solely because I saw the author's TikTok and I was like, that sounds good. And it sounds like a kind of like weird, different, surreal, queer YA book. So yeah, do I know what it's about? Not really, but I've seen people loving it, liked the TikTok. So I bought The Honeys uh, by Ryan LaSala and uh, yeah, I like the tagline. Sometimes the darkest secrets lurk in broad daylight. So that's gonna be one that I read hopefully soon. Just to, I just, I really like in September to read books that are spooky adjacent, not necessarily super creepy. You know, I also am just, I have mentioned it, really in the mood for cozy mysteries, so that too. Then I did pick up Killers of a Certain Age, which is Miss Deanna Rayborn's latest book. This one was on my autumn TBR that I think is going up. I don't know. It's going up though. Uh, at some point in our lives, it will be up. And this is about a group of women who work for this secret organization. They are essentially retired from it. They go on a vacation and then they realize that they're actually being targeted by, I think that organization to like take them out because you know, now they're not working for them anymore. So they're canceling the contract and uh, yeah. Very excited for this one. I wanted, oh, I wanted this copy. It's got such a slick, nice paperback, or not paperback, 
hardback texture. I'm just really into textures on my books for some reason right now. And then of course I went and I got my paperback copy of A Court of Silver Flames. This is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. Do I know what's in here that's exclusive aside from the cover being what it is? Not really, wait. Crescent City back there. What you doing, girl? Sarah. But look how floppy this is. This is what I'm talking about because I don't have to worry about this freaking spine. I'm so excited to just get into this and annotate the heck of me, junk of me, and I'm just so excited about this. This is without a doubt my favorite in the series. Uh, it's the best one. So, so those are the three books that I got today on the trip. And yeah, not a cloud. I also got my P.O. box finally to cooperate with me. So I was able to drop off majority of the Penguin Books orders. I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow when my partner can go with me because some of the boxes is too heavy for me to do by myself, which I know is so sad, but listen, I know my limits and I can't push it. <laughs> I don't know if any of y'all are chronically ill, but uh, some days, whenever it's like, I'm like, oh yeah, it's a good day. I haven't felt dizzy in a while. There's been no dizzy spells this week. Let's overdo it. And then it's like, boom, hello. And then I'm like, yeah, okay. Love to be humbled. So I did though make it to the post office this morning. Proud myself, dropped off the majority of them. And I got my PO box to actually open and I was there to grab this. Miss Gretchen sent me this as a birthday present. So, you know, I'm a little light to get in it. Um, that's my fault, not hers. It's because I just, I have beef with two people, my HOA and the post office. I got a letter from my HOA. Okay, so we have trash cans for our trash, right? Love that. And uh, we left them out one day longer than they would like apparently, which was not that long. Um, and they drove by, took a picture, and then used the USPS Postal Service with a stamp. They paid money our money because we pay our dues <laughs> to mail us a picture of our trash cans. I was like, I hate y'all. I wish I had known that this was an HOA neighborhood before I moved in. I don't know if we would have not moved in, but at least I would have been prepared for war, you know? But I have beef with the HOA, mainly them, and then my PO box. Not the people there. I don't think it's them. I, it's literally the key. Anyways, look how beautiful. There's all this detail down here too with some quotes. Some bats, it's freaking bats. And then it's just my little guy. And I love it so much. So I'm just gonna put it right there for right now until I can figure out what the heck I'm doing. Uh, but aside from that, I'm about to hop on some productivity sprints with my friend so that we can hold each other accountable and finish Air of Fire. So probably not gonna talk to you a lot today because like I said, I am reading Air of Fire and that is like its own vlog spoiler build for patreon that i'm gonna have to edit after today yeah that is the the plan there i did make it to nearly 50 percent in a deadly inside scoop i'm really liking it i went back to my library after i got that far and i decided to check all of the books that are out thus far in the series so i think i have the second and third as well on my kindle now and i'm just gonna be reading them. I'm just in a cozy mystery mood, I gotta tell you. Although I do also really wanna read this, but it's taking everything in me not to because I have some spooky videos planned that I have to finish. And then my reward will be Akador. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go do what I gotta do and I will talk to you uh, later. All right. I can't see you. So I have no idea if this is in frame. If I'm in frame, if you can see me, what's going on? Can you see me? <laughs> I can see a blob that is, this is like a dark color and then boom, this like, honest to God, I almost blended with the wall behind me. My eyesight is so bad, but also I don't go in the sun, so. Eight by 11, right here. Okay. Um, I just wanted to show some mail that I got. So actually, let me scoot you over to show you the book I got in the mail. This, spoilers for the Fairy Loot adult box. 
Who knows if it's the adult books or the YA books, it doesn't matter because adult books keep coming in the YA and YA books keep coming in the adult. It's all, it doesn't matter anymore. Luckily I like all of it, but um, ready? Oh, yes, I can't see if you can see it. Can you see it? Can you see it? I can't see. <laughs> there, I've turned on a light. Did that help? Uh, anyways, these sprayed edges are hard to see because I'm not holding it right. <laughs> Here, there you go. Sprayed edges, very slay. The cover, very slay. This is exactly what I wanted Illumicrate to do, just do a white gray version of it. And that's exactly what we got. Very slay. And I'm happy about it. So yes, and it's signed, but we're not gonna go look for that. So there's that one. Oh my God. And then I got this in the mail. Merch. I also ordered, I ordered the wrong size. It's a 2XL, but that's okay because it's going to be my Princess Die outfit collection. I'm embarrassing because I can't see myself, so I can't be embarrassed while I'm recording this because I don't know what I look like. But editing me is going to be like, you can't even cut this out because you need the words in there to make what you're saying make sense. But yeah, I have this. I have black a -a thon that crew neck coming. I have Weekend Ween crew neck coming. Basically what I'm saying is I'm going to get seven, no eight, so that on wash day I have one to wear. And I'm just going to rotate them all fall and then get eight pairs of biker shorts, all black because they are slimming. And um, that's just going to be my outfit for the entirety of the season. Because shout out to my princess, the princess of the people, my fave. Um, I'm gonna go now. Because I just realized I also filmed this on the wrong SD card. And really, what am I saying? I don't know. <laughs> Ma'am. Good lord. Oh, wow. <laughs> Looking great. Feeling greater. Mm, not true. But maybe I can manifest it. Anyways, uh, it is Thursday. Hi. I feel like I've been slacking on this vlog, and I do indeed apologize for such things that I'm doing. I'm about to sit down and read A Deadly Inside Scoop. I have 50% left of this and I just got done the one thing that I like that I had to absolutely get done um, this morning and now I'm gonna spend the rest of the morning getting that read and then we have to go drop off some pango orders at the post office. Really I'm just gonna spend the whole day reading this book getting it finished and I will update you guys. I just have to say if you like cozy books, oh my god, Ginger, or you want a cozy book, this is absolutely the book for you. Like, I'm so sorry. Her allergies are just something else right now. And they get worse when she purrs, and I can literally feel that she is just, like, going crazy. Okay. Anyways, um, this book is definitely one that I would recommend because it is, I think, gonna turn into a series. There's already three, but I don't think we're stopping there. And I just, man, especially if you love cozies that have a lot of food, like that's a big forefront thing. This one is it. And it's not just like, oh yeah, it takes place in a bakery or she happens to own a bakery. Da, da, da. Like it is described. The food is a character, honey. So I love that. Um, we're having a breakout moment because it is that time which is <laughs> so fine i'm like dying but i'm gonna lay in bed read this book and you know what i haven't said in a while and i haven't done in a while i'm gonna live i'm gonna laugh i'm gonna love and i'm gonna eat these breakfast tacos that my partner just went to get us and yeah that's about it i do know that i need to get some stuff ready because the uh, Lou Phantasma Patreon 20 or 48 hour readathon with Mel is tomorrow and we're probably going to be doing a lot of sprints there so I am going to take it easy because we did 12 almost 13 hours last time 12 hours for sure so we'll probably do that again just knowing us so I want to make sure that I you know save up the energy for that so that's what I'm gonna do and um yeah so that's it. Sorry if this weekly vlog is a bit shorter than they typically are. I have a feeling it's going to be because I, I don't know. I don't know why. Poor time management, my uterus. Who knows? So many reasons we could find, right? Okay, I'm tired of pretending that I'm not ready for fall. 
So we're gonna go hang up fall leaves and we're gonna have a good freaking time and I'm gonna take you and you're gonna see it. Let's go do it. Hello. So we are in the office, which God, I love being in here. I didn't, I don't think I showed you guys. I got this little cat guy and this is one of those bundles. This is from World Market. I just thought it was so cute and I wanted to put it on my desk. Also, it kind of reminded me of Ginger because she has those colors. And then I got a frame from World Market as well to put my favorite picture of my brother and I in. I should probably take the stickers off. Hello, whoops. Um, yeah, that one's not coming off. It's fine. But I think the frame is so cute, but like, look at this picture. So, that is me and my brother in high school, and not to brag, but I downloaded an illegal version of Photoshop, and I photoshopped in the silence. And we use my mom's makeup to draw all of those, um, numbers on me. Oh my god, my partner just laughed so loud. That was scary. <laughs> But anyways, that was a present to my dad because we're Hoovians and I'm not apologizing for it. So what we did, my partner and I, is on Monday, I want to say, because that was Labor Day, right? Uh, we decided we were going to go to Michael's and World Market. And so World Market, I like their stuff because some of it is very fall Halloween-y and that's cute. But it also leans more towards fall, so I basically I can leave it up from September to November. And then for the super Halloween stuff, I mean, I'm going to leave it up September and October. But it comes down in November to make way for Christmas. Why did that braid make it all the way around the world? Hello? So, Michael's, though, is where I got these leaves. And they're beautiful. I don't know if you can really see that, but I got the glittery kind. They had some that were lighter, but they were just very yellow. And my partner helped me pick out these ones because I just, I like the orange tones. Also, it looks freaking fabulous right here. So I got three for each side of the shelves because if you can see. So that's kind of what we're working with is that. And then so just picture it's the same thing on the opposite side of the room. So what I want to do is completely rearrange my bookshelves, but we're not going to do that. I actually did decide I am going to rearrange my bookshelves, but I like this side being middle grade romance, horror, thriller, whatever, and then thriller also bled into this other bookshelf that I have right here. And then the other side just being all my fantasy sci-fi. I like that. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to draw out all my shelves on procreate on my ipad and i need to charge it first of all but i'm gonna do that and then kind of i get a rough outline of where things are gonna go so that i can actually have like a plan before that video because i typically don't do bookshelf tours or bookshelf reorganization or anything like that videos because i feel so overwhelmed and i'm like let me just be whelmed and listen to a podcast and do it and just have this moment for me but then always at the end, I regret not filming it because it always looks so nice. I love reorganizing my shelves. It's like one of my favorite things to do. And now what's getting me is I have five empty shelves from doing that unhaul, which I'm going to edit that at some point in my life. It's going up this month. I just could not. I can't look at that footage right now. It, there's so many books that were left. There's so there's so many gone. <laughs> We have like a linen closet because these are not supposed to be offices. They're supposed to be bedrooms, but who's having kids in this economy? So it's the office linen closet thing. I filled it with books. That's like the pango storage room, basically. And um, yeah, but for now, what I'm going to do is take one of these. I'm going to do it on the very top one and then skip one and then the middle one and then skip one and then do another one. So it will not overwhelm the shelves. It'll just whelm them like me in life. <laughs> uh, but also it'll be in the shot for like my vlog clippy clips in here as well. And it'll make it so one, two. Yeah, it'll be perfect because there will be one right here and then there will be one right here. Can't really see that on, on this one right here. So like in all of my updates that happen in this corner, it'll be there, which I can't lie, I need to reorganize this shelf that's right here and put some more books there because right now it's just a lot of like office supplies, which is fine, but it's because the closet's not organized. 
but I would like there to be books back there. I just don't know what I would put there. Probably thrillers because I like this middle grade, these colors, but I have some really bright colored thrillers. So I may also move those over, but I am going to be listening to something. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you like to know? Let's pick together. <laughs> because I am, yes, return air fire girl. She's done. She's dead to me. So I know that I've already talked about, what's it called? Oh my God. I'm like Santa Claus today. I'm just returning all these books that I know good and well I will not be reading right now. Um, but I am reading A Deadly Inside Scoop via Kindle. And I've thought about trying to grab that audiobook, but I really, I don't know. I like the Kindle version and I like being able to take my time. I don't know. There's something about a cozy mystery that you like hold it and you read the cozy. I don't know why I like that more, but the audiobook is ready to check out. Of all three of them. Like, I could check them out right now. Ooh. Okay. Ew, someone left me a voicemail? Delete. So, I also could start the book Ace, which I think... Is someone... I thought I saw that in my subscription feed that someone's book club is reading that right now. But also, I'm just living that, so maybe I should, like, find out what I'm doing. I also just got in Legends and Lattes, but I have a video that's dedicated slash inspired by someone that wants me to read that book that I need to save before because I'm not ready to film it. So I'm gonna tell her to deliver late her. Stop pushing your agenda on me. Ooh. Then I got The Change, though, by Kristen Miller, this one. And that one's about women getting powers when I think they're in menopause. In menopause. In metamorphosis. I don't know why I said it that way. That was weird. Um, none of these books on my Libby app sound good. Let's see, what did I get? Oh, I do have the new Stacey Abrams book, but I'm not trying to commit to like an 11 hour audiobook, which an 11 hour audiobook is not a thing for me, but I just don't want to, I don't know, pick up anything. I think I want to do a nonfiction. I'm in a nonfiction mood. This is going to be really weird because I know that the book I'm about to tell you that I just downloaded off of Libro FM is going to be, you're going to be like, that's what you read when you're anxious. I like to read nonfiction when I have anxiety and we're not gonna get too much into it but just like I'm gonna talk about mental health for a second uh just anxiety in general I usually have anxiety where I can kind of like pinpoint what's creating it you know like under the surface or whatever and uh I am currently having one where I can't like there's nothing I'm you know I'm meeting my deadlines it, everything's going well I'm doing a lot of work which I like to do because I am a Kind of a workaholic <laughs> and so like everything's fine i'm having a great time you know we're living i i mean honestly i do need to fill out my planner but that's a task for another day um actually it's probably a task for after this because i have an audiobook to listen to now so i did start to open rules of engagement which is the new stacy abrams selena montgomery book i'm not gonna do it because also I want that to have like its perfect fall day. Like I want to sit outside with a cup of coffee and listen to that book. Cause that's what I did with the other one. I really like Stacey Abrams books by the freaking way. I like the political thriller romance ones. I don't know if her other ones are like that, but I may have to check them out and just like binge her backlist because if I could vote for her, I would, let me tell you. Anyways, so I just downloaded this guy. Mm -hmm. You recognize I'm Glad My Mom Died by Je Jeanette McCurdy. I've heard a lot about this. Very interested in it. Uh, I don't know. Listen, I know it's about how awful her mom was. There's a lot of content warnings for eating disorders, abuse, mental, physical, emotional, all of the things. Uh, definitely go and check it out on... I always recommend looking it up on... What is that app? Because I don't use it for my books. Storygraph. Storygraph is perfect for content warnings. Like, this is so weird, but in horror books, for some reason, every time there's a cute dog or a cat, and they always die, and I just want to know, like, what degree are we going to with this death? Like, is it just, like, a little off-screen moment, like, in The Conjuring? Is it just, like, a yelp in the night? Or is it, like, brutal? You know? I need to know those things. So, I use Storygraph to check out that because it also allows people to kind of elaborate on the content warnings they're putting in and you get a lot. There's a lot there. I think Storygraph is like, ugh, 
I really do like Storygraph. I just don't enjoy the interface. I don't know what it is. It's just not my favorite. And I don't think that it's not user friendly. I think that's not me friendly. And I need something really simple. <laughs> because I will just like give up on remembering to update it. But anyways, I'm gonna start listening to I'm Glad My Mom Died. I feel weird saying that every time. But you know, is what it is. Um, we got these bad boys good and charged. And I'm going to be using... They are these little hooks. They're the ones where you can put the... Wouldn't you like to know uh, ever what I'm trying to say? The little sticky part on the other side. And then they're really easy to remove. They're, they're the same brand as Command Strips, but they're not as commanding. You know what I'm saying? I don't either. Oh, don't you wish we could figure it out together? Maybe one day. But I'm gonna hang them up. Um, I'm probably not gonna film myself hanging them up because I honestly couldn't tell you where my freaking tripod is. So, um... Yeah, but I will show you afterwards. I'll give you like a little B-roll overlook and then I'll show you this. I may, because this side looks good. It looks good. So I may just move that thriller shelf over to here because I need more room anyways and I kind of want to put all my TBR thrillers here so that they're next to me. And then I might try to arrange that side because I, never mind, we're not reading it. Let's be honest, and I don't like carrying myself like that. I don't really care to differentiate between YA and adult when it comes to my fantasy books because I just like the fantastical elements. When I like, you know, go to rate them and my expectations for the books, they do adjust based on what the age category of the actual audience who's meant to be reading this is. Because like, listen, I'm not the YA audience that I once was <laughs> because I aged. But I still really enjoy YA for what it is. And I kind of just enjoy fantasy across the spectrum. Like I don't really particularly care what the demographic is meant to be, the target audience is meant to be. But I do think it might be nice for my brain because I have so many YA that I have read, but I have so many adult fantasy that's woven into this that I have not read yet because I'm newer to that category and they do tend to be much longer books so it's harder for me. So I think what I might do, I was trying to separate it from fantasy to sci-fi but I think it makes more sense to do YA and adult. So like the top shelves are just gonna be Miss Cassandra Clare and Lippa Bray shelves. Um, when the next trilogy from Miss Cassie Clare comes out, I will adjust the Diviner shelf to make room for her. Uh, and also my Cruel Print stack, which to be honest, I don't even really want all those additions anymore. But I don't know what to do with them. So I just leave them up there. Also, I can't even reach them. So it's like out of sight, out of mind. But then I think the lower shelves, I want to... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move it so that they are separated into adult and YA. And I think that'll just be better. So there's 12 shelves in all. So I could do six. Is that even? No, that's like literally incorrect math. I just lied to you. There's 18. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60. Yeah, 18. Lord, help us all. There's 18 shelves. So I'll give nine to each, basically. But I don't know if I want to leave room for other books in there or if I want to just kind of arrange what I've got because I have those other shelves in the bedroom which have more of an immediate TBR for me so I can separate the two and there's a lot of adult fantasy on that so I don't really know but they're also very pretty adult fantasy ed special editions that I don't really need in this room I think they look really good in there so I might just leave them let them live you know somewhere else I'm also I really do like my rainbow shelf over there I was gonna show you but Part of me does wonder if I should like integrate those books into the main shelves now that they're so little. I feel like I've unhauled so many books, which is great. I'm very excited about that. But also I'm like, what the heck do I do? Like I don't have as many <laughs> books. I don't know. I love empty shelves, but I also feel like I need to arrange them so they don't look as empty. So I'm going to do that while I listen to the Jeanette McCarty book. Basically, I'm just going to prep all the shelves. I'll show you an overview after I do that, and then I'll show you with the leaves on. And then that will be our little afternoon moment for us. Well, it's 1030, but whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, so I'm going to go do that. I want to 
Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. Okay, so I've got the shelves organized how I want. There's basically an entire shelf open. I'll show you in a second, and I'm like mind blown because I have so many freaking books. But anyways, um, I added in the shelf here. Let me show you actually. So we have Jake, who's helpful, and just making sure the floor stays where it needs to be. The most helpful boy. Uh, this is the shelf that I created. So it's got some books right here, right here, that I've already read, but majority of them I want to read soon, or I just <laughs> really love the covers and I wanted them facing out somewhere. And then you have over here. So here are all of these. So these are majority YA. Wasn't sure on that one if it's YA or not. I don't care because I like the cover facing out right there. And then I have these ones right here. And then I have some. I've started another adult shelf over there. Um, but I don't have enough books. Like, look how much room there is. That's crazy. But now I'm going to start hanging up the actual leaves. So I had to hang them up vertically instead of horizontal because they were not long enough to go this way. But I still think it looks pretty good. Every detail in my head. But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Okay, we're back from the post office. And I just got this in the mail, which he just laid on my headphones. Rude. Just got this in the mail. Really want to read it. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to put it on my little spooky stack. And uh, I did make a big old cup of coffee. It's just one Nespresso pod, but I put a lot of ice because my coffee, I prefer it to be 60% ice, 40% coffee. That's just me. That's just me. Made it a little too sweet, I'm not gonna lie to you. Too much brown sugar was put in, but can't take it back now. Might as well get hyped up. But since it's that time of month, I'll probably get anxiety, but that's fine too. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go read now. Hello, happy Friday, everybody. Um, I started a new book last night, and that is Gothicana. So I am kind of going between two things right now during these sprints that I'm doing today. So we're doing our monthly Lou Phantasma 48 hour readathon, and I have one reading vlog that is like a planned out reading vlog where I'm reading one of my faves favorite books and then this one obviously is the weekly vlog and I'm reading this and right now I'm more in the mood for Gothicana than the other options so I'm probably going to switch to the other stack later on in the day but for right now I'm going to do Gothicana because it just sounds better and I have like a good playlist I found on YouTube and I'm just into it right now so this one is about a girl who she uh, to be honest it's not the most descriptive book I've ever read, so I'm a little confused as to what time period we're in. I think because they mentioned computers and modern cars and all of that, we're in like our time period, but it takes place in a very 1800s castle-like thing, which I'm really into. I like when it's modern, but the place that it's set in feels very old instead of it being actually old. So she was kind of an outcast her entire childhood and so was her mom and we're just finding out that her mom has passed and so she just got this letter that she's been accepted on like a full ride scholarship kind of thing to this school I think got the canna and she has decided to go because I mean to be honest why not and it's set at this beautiful castle up in these mountains like uh, no one goes there it's said to be haunted da, 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 da. so far she's met her roommate and she's met a few people there 
And then I know that there's like this elusive silver eyed devil that I'm pretty sure it's going to be the love interest. I just looked up kind of like gothic love stories. Really what happened is I saw a lot of Killian Murphy ads <laughs> on my For You page and I was like, I think it's time. I think it's time to read some more romance. So we're back here and we're doing it. I just didn't feel like reading a rom-com kind of romance. I wanted something different, which I'm more of a Kindle Unlimited girl anyways, honestly. So this works out perfectly because that's on here. So yeah, I have this all charged up, ready to go. I'm going to be reading this. I just adjusted, I'm not adjusted, I just updated my planner. So that's all good too. And yeah, I'm just gonna start reading. We're starting our first sprint. So hopefully I'm going to get lots and lots done. Hello. All right. So with Gothic Can- Ow. Okay, that hurt. With Gothic Canna, I have got 17% in and um, I'm really liking it. This is definitely cheesy and does a lot of it make sense? No. But does the professor get described exactly like Tom Huddleston in Crimson Peak just with like a white streak of hair in his hair? Yes. So am I picturing Tom Hiddleston? Also, yes. So I'm having a good time, basically is what I'm saying. And uh, the writing is super easy to fly through. So I definitely think that I'll get through a lot of this book today. If not, to be honest, if I just focus, a fun thing to try to do, uh, I think I could finish this book today. So maybe we'll see if I can pull that one off. Okay, hi. Um, I just got back from getting a muffin. I went to go get a pumpkin cream cheese muffin. And they did not have it. So I got a venti decaf pumpkin spice shaken espresso to make up for that. And then a blueberry muffin. And that's fine. That's fine. It's totally what I wanted. Just kidding. It is fine. But I needed a second, like, just like a pick me up moment. So there's that. Um, I'm also going to start drinking my water after I finish this drink. But I just wanted a little, it's like almost 3 p.m. And I just feel like a little trip out into the world was a good idea. And I had some money left over on a gift card on my app. So I was like, there you go. But as far as this goes, I'm about 30% in now. I'm liking it. Got the can. I feel like if you like Zodiac Academy, the writing is way better, way better than Zodiac Academy's writing. Sorry, personal preference. It just is. But uh, it's got that vibe of like the gothic castle, the weird forbidden romance. I don't know. kind of into it though. I don't really, don't know why I'm into it, but I am. It is House of the Dragon Day. How quickly I turned into a fangirl. Okay, so we have to talk. I finished a book, I DNF'd another book, and then I started a new book. Let's talk about them. So the first book I finished was A Deadly Inside Scoop. I gave it, I think, 3.754 stars. It was very fun, very cute. I liked the writing style. It was very, um, very in line with, I was gonna say higher end cozy mysteries. That's not a thing. But just like cozies that... I don't know, know what they're doing and they're just cute and I just like them a lot. So there you go. That's, that was on. I really liked the reveal process. I thought it was dramatic and honestly for the main character, a little traumatic because <laughs> there was a knife involved, but I thought it was cute. Really liked it, would recommend. Then next up, I DNF'd Gothicana because it was so repetitive and it wasn't even like cyclical. I can get behind because you know what? Toxic cycles, got it. But like this, why is this candle upside down? Hello. Um, this one was just literally her repeating the same thing over again, him repeating the same thing over again, the school doing the same thing over again. It was so boring, 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 boring house down. I didn't like it. So DNF'd it, counted it towards my Goodreads goal because I got pretty much 60% into it. And pff, that's gonna count if I put myself through almost 300 pages worth of a book. Hello. So I don't recommend it, although it is, you know, 
a good messy dark academia i suppose i don't really think so it's just a, it's an academia set in a castle and it's dark a lot of the time because it's night a lot of the time um but i don't Again, we've had this discussion before, pals. I don't really know what dark academia is. I don't know. Everyone has a different definition. Therefore, there's no definition. So I don't know what's going on. Next, I started Throttled here. This is my race car romance. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Uh, she, our, so our female main character is the sister of one of the F1 drivers who just got signed to a team. And then she starts to fall for... Who's it? What's it? The rival of her brother, who is one of the best drivers in the whole thingy thing. Which, do I know what that means? Mm -mm. Do I care? Mm -mm. Times two. Because he's cute. And he's Sebastian Stan. Like, that's what I'm picturing. So, 62% into this one. Definitely plan on finishing it today. And so when I do finish it, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue on with the series because I'm kind of in the mood for this. I'm in the mood for a series where it's the same world, but it is a different character in that world that we've seen previously in the books. That's kind of where I'm at. But I also saw this one mentioned in some Patreon sprints that we were doing yesterday. And it's on my shelf. Well, it's not now. It's in my hands. <laughs> But it's beautiful, and I really want to read it. And it's Her Majesty's Royal Coven. It's about a coven for the queen. I don't know which one. I don't really particularly care. I just think a coven is pretty cool. I don't know if it's... I think it's modern. Oh, life as a modern witch was never simple. But now it's about to get apocalyptic. That sounds like a line in a movie where it's kind of one of those cheesy teen movies that doesn't take itself too seriously, so it's, like, really good. Those are... I love that. I love that brand of film. Speaking of film, great segue, Olivia. <laughs> Nailed it. So my mother and I are going to go up to her work to get some stiff done. I am but a carrier for this. So let me show you what I'm wearing. I got this in the mail. House of Wind Book Club. hey -o. Makes me want to freaking reread Cord Silver Flames. Uh, but I won't. For now. For now. I might... Do I want to reread Actor? <sighs> Olivia, get on track. Okay, what track was I on? Movies, yes. Films, if you will, if you're a dude, bro. Films, I love a good film. Uh, my mom and I are gonna go see Barbarian after we drop stuff off at her work. And I'm excited because people are like, it was so weird, it was nothing like I thought it was gonna be. The trailer didn't tell everything. I thought that the trailer told everything in the movie, which is one of the reasons I was like, but then it's Bill Skarsgård, so I was like, but it's Airbnbs and I refuse to stay in an Airbnb because I already thought they were weird wackadoo because I'm like, what's stopping them from putting cameras in? If people put cameras in hotels, what tells you that they're not going to put it in their home or no one's checking? Hello? And yeah, I understand we're in a surveillance world, you know, especially here. But still, I don't want to stay in someone's house because I don't know what they're doing with it. Weird. Uh, but this movie's about that. And I think it's going to be spooky, creepy, strange, so... I'm gonna bring a book, because I always do. Look at these spray edges. Aren't they so cool looking? The answer is yes. This is, this is what I'll probably start after I finish the race car one. And that's really all I have got. I did yesterday plan out my two like reading vlog project videos that I'm doing in October to post in November. And one of them, hmm, how do I vaguely one of them is inspired by Book Talk and Caleb Joseph, favorite booktuber. Well, a YouTuber now. Favorite YouTuber. You fill in the blanks. You decide what that might be. Okay. I'm going to go fix my hair because it looks tragic and get my purse together. I'm not bringing snacks with me. Don't think I'm doing that, but I'm not not. Ooh, popcorn. That sounds good. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna actually go now because I need coffee so badly. As you can see, we're all over the place. We are just bringing it around town. And I'm a mess, and I can barely handle it. So I'm gonna go. Love you the most. Probably talk to you later. Probably after the movie. I'll tell you how it is. I'll tell you how much I loved Look at That Bill Skarsgård for two hours. <laughs>